Now, the inspector general of the State Department, I think, issued a uh, report here, and, and we've got you know, a bunch of different takes uh, on this. State Department audit faults Hillary Clinton in emails. That's the Associated Press. The Washington Post State Department Inspector General report sharply criticizes Clinton's email practices. Now, I had a plethora of reactions to this today. There are many of my friends in my circle who think, that eh, Rush, I told you it was not going to amount to anything, and this is nothing... This is big deal, yada, 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 yada nothing's going to happen here, Russia. You were right. And then, and then other people think, oh, wait a minute now, this is more than I expected. You want my take on this? I cling to my theory that Obama does not want to be seen as the person who takes Hillary out. But he is toying with her big time. And this drip, drip, drip is continuing because Obama is permitting it. If Obama wanted this email thing buttoned down, shut down, and dispatched, it would have been however long ago he wanted that to happen. The State Department IG would have concluded the investigation would not have much to report the FBI would have continued to do what they do, but the Department of Justice would not have acted on it, which still hasn't happened. But no, there continues to be a drip, 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 drip. And the important aspect of this one, ladies and gentlemen, you may think, Rush, this is nothing. They soften the blow out there. You saw it, Rush. They, uh, they, they say that Condoleezza Rice did the same thing, and they said that Colin Powell said they did the same thing, and so they said Hillary's not alone here. Uh, 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 uh. All true, however, there is no way that the Hillary Clinton campaign can say any of this is coming from the vast right wing conspiracy. Well, she may try to say it, but there's no way she can even get close to having any credibility with this. The Inspector General, State Department Inspector General, very careful to say that Hillary violated the rules rather than the law. By the way, if you want the truth, I watched a big roundtable on CNN, a bunch of leftists, and they're beside them that they think this is not going away, that it's going to be around the entire campaign, and that it is serious. And it doesn't matter whether Colin Powell did it or Condoleezza Rice did it, because they're not running for president. And they are been there, done that. They are long ago. They have nothing to do with today, but Hillary does. And it just won't go away. And they're very much aware of it. And I think Obama is kind of like the Wizard of Oz there behind the curtain, deciding when the drips and the drops happen. But... Don't don't be discouraged by the fact that the uh, State Department Inspector General said that she violated the rules rather than the law. Because if you read it elsewhere, the Inspector General explained that the rules were implemented in accordance with the relevant law, the Federal Records Act here. So that means that if you connected out, she violated the law. They haven't said so. She's violating the rules, but the rules spring from the law. She violated the law. That is conclusive. And here's something that is just as important. All of her top aides refused to cooperate with this Inspector General investigation. Cheryl Mills, Huma Danger, the whole crowd, none of them participated. None of them cooperated with the government investigation. When you are asked to cooperate with the government in an investigation of potential law violations, and you refuse, that refusal is implicitly a claim of legal privilege, not speak. The only such legal privilege which applies in this context is the Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination. 
The IG report obscures this point, but it still is amazing. You had, I mean, that that is what the refusal to participate, that's how it legally is interpreted, uh, interpreted by the investigating agencies. If, uh, if one of Hillary's age refuses to talk for whatever reason, the legal assumption is, okay, they're asserting the fifth, you know, want to incriminate themselves. And it's an amazing point. Why else would they refuse to cooperate? Remember, she did say she did anything wrong. There was nothing. To, what difference does it make now how those people died? Does anything do anything wrong? The email servers, everybody's got one. I, nobody thinks that anything illegal happened. So why not answer questions? Why would they refuse to cooperate? Hillary's aides. Remember, when the, when the, the guy that set up her, um, the IT guy set up her, whole system, Pagniano. Remember when he refused to cooperate with the FBI unless he got immunity? It was a huge story because it was obviously an admission that he believed truthful answers would tend to incriminate him. Same thing going on here with Hillary's aides. So what are they going to say? See, this is the bottom line. The Obama State Department is not part of the vast right-wing conspiracy. Hillary Clinton can can caterwaul all day long that it's just the rebirth of the vast right-wing conspiracy, but this is the Obama State Department. That's my take. And I think it's going to be around throughout the campaign because Obama, I don't know why, but this drip, drip, drip is obviously continuing, and if they wanted it to shut down, they could do that. Here's Dana Bash on CNN. Uh, that This is uh, this morning. Not long ago, within the last couple of hours, the co-host John Berman talking with her. She's a chief political correspondent for CNN. He says, this is going to play in politics. Basically, immediately, Donald Trump has already been calling Hillary Clinton crooked Hillary, and it's sticking. And Hillary Clinton, by the way, still running in a primary against Bernie Sanders. So Dana... What about this uh, this report in the IG? How's it going to affect her? This feeds directly into the narrative that her opponents, Bernie Sanders on the Democratic side and ultimately uh, Republicans led by Donald Trump uh, in a general election, uh, will be hammering her on. The narrative, of course, is you're hearing Donald Trump do it in only a way that he does, calling her crooked Hillary. The fact that she didn't comply with the rules, that she appears to have been uh, doing things that were not Maybe she thought she was above the rules or she's different from the way everybody else should be. That's going to help her opponents in a big way. All right, exactly. They're they're worried. Dana Bash and the CNN crew very worried about this because what has Hillary's defense been? Hillary's defense has been that she complied with all regulations and that what the FBI is doing is just a security review. There's nothing that's gone on here. I mean, everybody's done it, just like Clinton and sex in the 90s. It's private. It's personal. Everybody does it. It didn't get in the way of her doing her job. But you heard Dana Bash. She didn't comply with the rules. She said that she did. She said that's that's her defense, that she complied with all State Department regulations. And what the FBI is doing is a security review. Wrong. The FBI is investigating her. And I'll tell you something else. The FBI is investigating the Clinton Crime Family Foundation, along with the punk, Terry McAuliffe, the governor of Virginia. Now, why did Hillary want an off-site private email server? People say it's to avoid Freedom of Information Act requests. And it is for privacy. Mrs. Clinton doesn't want to be hassled. She doesn't want to have to if anybody know what she's doing. Well, my opinion, once again, I think she had to do this in order to cover up how she was selling influence to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars to foreign governments, foreign people, foreign entities. She did that. If that had been part of the State Department Internet email system subject to discovery of Freedom of Information Act, that would have been devastating. This is how she kept all of that selling of access private. Private. 